No blockers, no Borsalino 7, no problem. So, a Japanese player managed to win a flagship championship using this build that doesn't have any blockers. So, basically, no Borsalino blocker, no Sabo, and no Borsalino 7. It's just pure aggression and pure board control. So, this is the decklist that Vanguard 0505 used. And please use this as, his, as your reference. I will be linking his Twitter account in the description below. And... On to the game. Let's go. Oh, mirror matchup. It's a good one to showcase this new build that we got from a Japanese player. This is a bad hand. Wow. Okay, so we at least we have Branus. Uh... So again, this build doesn't have any Borsalino. We basically don't have any blocker. It's just uh, pure control and aggression. So let's see here. That's uh, what we will be taking. Okay, Murakumo. I think I have to trash one of my 2Ks. And then it was replaced by another 2K. Alright, so we can go 5k on. Depends on what he'll gonna play this turn. So that's 2 done. Might be a Branu. Uh, I'll take one. There you go. A Shiki. I can go for... I can go for 6. And then defend... This two will attack next turn, 100%, because it's just going to be five dons. Ooh. Uh, Kuzan will be just a target. I don't need Kuzan yet. I actually might trash Kuzan, so I'll go for six. I'll go for six. I'll play Tashigen Branu, trash Kuzan. Okay, we have Luchi. Uh, one, two. Ooh, I think I have to go with. I don't have any cost reduction at the moment. Five costs either a Borsalino or a Luchi to take out this two. So I don't have cost reduction for that. So let's go for cost reduction. Then let's play. I want that Marine Ford. But Hina will go to the bottom. I think that's okay. I want that Marine Ford. Uh, would have played. No, Marine Ford will go to the bottom, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I should have played Tashigi first. If I would have played Tashigi first, I would have gotten. Marine Ford, and then if I play Branu, I would have trash uh, Hina. But that's okay. So, this is gonna be a battle of the Weenies. This is the normal setup for uh, Kuzan. Oh, sorry, for Sakazuki. Uh, wow. <laughs> he have a lot of searchers. He got Hina, he got Houndlays. So he'll attack for 6. I can counter with one of the Tashiki so that I have something for uh, Moria. Now the question is, do we want to use one of the Murakumos or Luchi? I think I know he have Hound Blaze. He do have Hound Blaze. So Luchi will be bottom. Uh, I'm just gonna trash Luchi. Uh, I need to get rid of. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll play. I don't think I need to. Five 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 seven five five. This two will be used for Murakumo. Okay. It's okay. So we will Murakumo these two. I don't want them 
here because uh, so that he will have to spend one don try to attack my Branus. Okay, he already took one. Oh, a trigger. So that's a great eruption. Ah, Ice Age, he went for... Uh, wow, that's a very costly Branu. Well, I mean, he, he went for Ice Age. Wow. Um, okay. Let's, if I counter this one, now let him go. Six done. What would be your six done play? Can go for seven k, and then he might go for Borsa. Okay, I thought he'll gonna go for Borsalino, so it's gonna be a five k. Uh, I think I have to counter this one because we will be taking also another damage here. I want to stop the bleeding at two. Wow, six k. Sure. Oh, did it attack? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So what do we do now? I can play for Luchi because he already used Houndlay. So clearing the board here. So I'll trash. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I think I can play for Luchi. Okay, now. So, I can attack one. And then play Moria. Let's play Moria so he have to uh, active. And then rested. I want you first. A shoot okay counter I think I will I'll need Tashiki I need Tashiki more one two three and our turn now since he used one of the ice age I think you only have another copy of it most of the Sakazuki decks only have two copies of ice age so he will have a hard time Dealing with Moria, especially that he doesn't have. Oh, okay, so he got Hina. He got Helmepo, but he's only got 9 tons. So he doesn't have. Well, he got Luchi. He do have Luchi, so that's 4. And plus Helmepo, that's 3. So he need to reduce 5 costs. 5, I'll trash Helmepo. So we want Helmepo on our trash anyway, so that's good for us. Great eruption. Okay, so that's two. Rebecca to Hina. That's six. Okay, that's gonna be a Luchi play, which is okay with for us. So that's gonna be a hound place for us as well. Okay, so now we are at ten done. I can play. Oh, gonna get Kusan. Because I can play Kusan now. Uh, I can go for Murakumo. Minus 2, minus 2. So that's 4, 6. Huh? 4. That's minus 2, minus 2. 4, 5, 6, 9. So I can't play Kuzan yet. So that's gonna go minus two. I want wait, I want actually I don't need to. So that's four, five, eight. So let's play this first minus two Morakum. I I'll attack first. So it's minus two. Uh, I don't think I can do that. So that's two, two. I'll, I want this two to be in the bottom. So I'll go for one, one. Yeah, I'll go for this one. 
display. So it's going to be minus 2. Actually, 4. So this is already 2. 2, 2, 0. Then uh, so zero cost. Now we have something here. I can bottom now this two. Now we can play Kuzan. Let's act, attack with Luchi first. Then let's play Kusan. Uh, Rebecca will have to go to the trash. Because I already. Hmm. Let's play Kusan 4. Trash one of the Kusan 4. End of our turn. Now he already used the combo. So, if he plays Moria, he doesn't have Luchi anymore in his trash. So, he doesn't have the KO capability anymore from trash. He also, well, he do have one Hina. So, the best he can do is Moria to the combo, Hina, Rebecca, then Helmepo. Then, he might have, if he have Murakumo, he can do that. He can bottom this Kuzan and Luchi. Then he will have Amoria on our side. Okay. So he went for the manual thing. On our side, however, we can answer this with Luchi and Helmepo. We still, we still do have Helmepo here. Oh, he went for that play. Then he'll gonna attack. Okay. Fair enough. So for this, I can KO. I can bottom this one. But I want to have the presence of Moria. So that he will be forced. So Luchi. I can minus 2 Luchi. Helmepo. KO this 2. I can also go for 5k, 5k. So yeah, that's the play. I want Luchi active. And then, where's Helmepo? Helmepo. Uh, minus 2, uh, minus 3 first. Oh, I forgot to use Marineford first. I'm... Wow. So I missed... I missed the timing of that one. That's a misplay. I should have clicked Marine Ford to minus one first. Ah. Uh, um. There you go. Now I have to use this just to attack. Oh wow, that's a huge misplay on my part. Uh, still not used to having Marine Ford. But yeah, should have played Marine Ford so that I can KO both and then I can go 5k uh, or maybe just 6k and then play Tashiki. Wow, that's a huge mistake on my part. Really a huge blunder. That's just a very basic misplay. Wow. Okay, he took one. So, that's another trigger. Another Ice Age you want to trigger? <laughs> okay, not. Uh, let's trash Hina. Gonna attack for 5. No trigger here. I still have some 4k counters. Okay, so this, uh, this is over. Because, okay, so I'm just gonna go for 19k Moria. Already over. The moment that he passed that one, because I'm going to just go, uh, 
even if he plays a blocker, I'll just gonna Marine Ford to Hound Days. But yeah, uh, again, his crucial mistake is to trigger uh, Ice Age. I'm not sure why he went for the trigger, the Ice Age trigger, because in a Sakazuki matchup, every cost reduction is very important. Uh, he knows that Moria is uh, very near. I was like, what? Six on that turn. So next turn, I might have Moria and he triggered the Ice Age. So he did have, uh, he did spend more resources than needed to answer the first Moria. And now the second Moria is down. He doesn't have any answer to it. Uh, hence, uh, we managed to snatch the win uh, away from him. Uh, very bad misplay on my part regarding the marine ford uh i i'm i don't know why i know that i have to uh use marine ford first before i go to moria i really have to be mindful about that well again every match is a learning uh learning experience and learning opportunity so that's also good and once Moria is down, we already locked the board because even if we put up a blocker here, I do have a Tsuru that I can use and then Hound Blaze. And I also have uh, a lot of cost reduction that are, I would consider static in a sense that uh, I can use them anytime I want. So that's a very good uh, addition. Marineford is a very good addition in on this deck. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, the no Borsalino no, or no blocker build is uh, doing good. I think in general matchups or a mirror matchup, it's good because most of the time you also don't put uh, Borsalino down in a mirror matchup because it can easily be uh, countered by a Great Eruption and Hound Blaze. And you basically. Uh, Wasted four dons that you can put in your Branus or your uh, Tashigis so that you can pressure the board more. So if you saw the early game, that's the usual early game in an OP06 mirror matchup. Then you just have to decide whether to process the board or to let those weenies out there put uh, pressuring you. So I, I went for the early board uh, clear. And using Sakasu, uh, using Luchi, uh, I pressured him, and he has to answer the Moria play as well. And again, that Ice Age was his bane of existence. So yeah, I hope you learned something new in this video. And if you like more, to, uh, if you like to see more of this, uh, no blocker aggression type Sakazuki, please let me know in the comment section below. This is RJ playing One Piece trading card game. Peace out.